problem three of the tear-off sheet. So problem three states, use L'Hopital's rule to evaluate this limit. Okay, so recall that the only way you can use L'Hopital's rule is if when you plug in this x, and you get an indeterminate form of infinity divided by infinity, or zero divided by zero. If you get any other indeterminate form like one to the infinity, or um, infinity minus infinity, and etc. These are all indeterminate forms as well, but L'Hopital's rule does not apply to these. So if you get something like in this form, you have to do a little bit more work and to try to get it into one of these indeterminate forms. Once you get into one of those indeterminate forms, you can go ahead and then apply L'Hopital's rule. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what form we get when we plug in zero here. So let's go ahead and plug in the zero we get 1 plus 3 tangent of 0, all this raised to the 2 divided by 0. Okay, tangent of 0 is 0, so 0 times 3 is 0, plus 1 is 1, and 2 divided by 0 is a very big number, infinity. But that's 1 to the infinity, and that's indeterminate. Now, it's not in the indeterminate form that we want it in order to apply L'Hopital's rule. So that means we've got to do some more work. Indeterminate. Okay, so let's do some more work. Alright, this right here is a function, so I'll call that function f of x. f of x is equal to 1 plus 3 tan of x and raised to x. Okay, now I want to bring this 2 divided by x down. In order to do that, I got to introduce ln to both sides. So I'll take ln of f of x and ln of all this. Okay, once I do that, I can go ahead and bring the 2x down. So here I'm left with ln of f of x is equal to 2 divided by x ln of 1 plus 3 tangent of x. Okay, but I want to take the limit as x approaches 0 of this function. So I'll take the limit as x approaches 0 of ln f of x equal to the limit as x approaches 0 ln 1 plus 3 tangent of x divided by the 2 here divided by x. Okay, so let's plug in 0 and see what happens now. Tangent of 0 is 0. 3 times um, 0 is 0, and 1 plus 0 is 1, but ln of 1 is 0, so we get 0 on the top, and 0 on the bottom. But this is an indeterminate form that we can use, because L'Hopital's rule says that we get infinity divided by infinity, or 0 divided by infinity, uh, 0 divided by 0, we can go ahead and apply L'Hopital's rule, and that's pretty much states that take the rear of the top, and divide by the rear of the bottom. So let's go ahead and do that, since we get 0 divided by 0. So, here we go 0 divided by 0. Now let's do the limit. By the way, this, you can also rewrite this as ln of the limit as x approaches 0 of the function f of x, because we have the limit of the function f of x. Um, and that's equal to the limit as x approaches 0 of the derivative of the top, so ddx of the top. Tangent 
times, since we're going to use the chain rule, times the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of the inside, the derivative of the tangent is secant squared, so that would be 3 times secant squared. Okay, so that's the derivative of the top, then divided by the derivative of the bottom. Well, the derivative of the bottom is 1, the derivative of x is 1. So now we have ln of the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x, that's equal to the limit as x approaches 0. Okay, so that's going to be 6 secant squared of x divided by 1 plus So now let's plug in 0 and see what we get. Okay, so if we plug in 0, plug 0 in here, so we put uh, in here, so we get 6 secant squared of 0 divided by 1 plus 3 tangent of 0. Okay, so secant squared is 1 divided by cosine squared, and cosine squared of 0 is 1 squared, and that's 1, so we get 1 divided by 1 times 6, that's just 6 on the top. Tangent of 0 is 0, and 0 times 3 is 0, but 0 plus 1 is 1. So we get 6 divided by 1. Therefore, we have that. So that's not the limit, though, because remember, we still have ln here. So we have ln then of the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x, that's equal to 6. So to get rid of this ln, we got to introduce e to both sides. So now we have that the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x is equal to e to the 6. Okay, so that's the answer. So let's go over this a little bit quicker, or a little bit faster, just to go over it. Um, you, so use L'Hopital rule to evaluate this. Okay, so we want to evaluate this. We first have to plug in the zero, see what indeterminate form we get. We got one to the infinity. That's not an indeterminate form that we can apply L'Hopital's rule to. So the only indeterminate forms that we can apply L'Hopital's rule is infinity divided by infinity or zero divided by zero. In this case, that's not it. So that means let's do some more work. So the more work is, let's look at it this way. This here is our function f of x. So I set f of x equal to this. Now I want to bring two to the x down. So in order to bring two to the x to in front of, in front of uh, this function, i got to introduce ln to both sides, because ln lets us do that. So, introduce ln to both sides, then I obtain this. Now, given this, um, let's see. So, now, given this, we want to take the limit, right? In the end, we want to take the limit. So, I went ahead and introduced the limit of both sides. So, now we have the limit of both sides. Now, I go ahead and plug in 0 in here, and I get 0 over 0. That's good. That's an indeterminate form that we need in order to apply L'Hopital's rule. So then I apply L'Hopital's rule right here, take the derivative of the top, then take the derivative of the bottom. I come here and I get that. Okay, once I have that, just do some simplification, and I obtain this. Now once I have that, I plug in 0 to see if it works now. Well, when I plug in 0, it works, I get 6. However, 6 is not the limit. Why? Because we have an ln here. So in order to find the limit of f of x, we need to do e to both sides. So e to the ln and e to the 6. E, ln has base e, so they cancel out. I'm just left with the limit as x approaches of f of x, and that's what we want. We want the limit as x approaches of f of x, and that's e to the 6. And that's that.